In this geometry problem, we're given an equilateral triangle. Inside this triangle are three circles, each with radius four centimeters. And they're inside the triangle such that they're all touching each other. And each circle has two edges of the triangle as a tangent to it. Using this information, we need to work out what is the perimeter of the triangle. To start off with, we're going to add radii for the bottom two circles, horizontal, parallel to the base of the triangle. We're then going to join these up at the ends with vertical radii, going down to the bottom there, and these are at 90 degrees. Now, as each of these is a radius of the circle, they are all four centimeters in length. Now, we can see very quickly, because of the perpendicular sides and the parallel sides that we've created a rectangle at the bottom here. So the bottom of the rectangle, its length must be four plus four, which is eight. And we can now see that we've got a length between the eight and the bottom left of the triangle, which I'm gonna call X. And by the symmetry of our problem on the other side, we're also gonna have a distance of X. So if we can work out this X, then we can get there. Now to do this, I'm going to create a triangle at the bottom left there with the X as the base and the four as the height. This is a right angle triangle because it's backed up to our rectangle. So now we can use this because we know that an equilateral triangle has three angles of 60 degrees. And again, by the symmetry of our problem, we can see very quickly that the bottom left corner of our triangle is half of this angle. So this must be 30 degrees. We've now got a triangle we can use some trigonometry to find x. As we've got a right angle triangle, we've got 30 degrees, four is opposite this and x is adjacent to it. We know that tan of 30 must be equal to four over x, just by our normal trigonometric ratios. Tan 30 is one over root three. So by cross multiplication, so multiplying both sides by x and both sides by root three, we get that x is equal to four root three. We can see that the bottom edge of our triangle is eight and two x's. So the side length must be eight plus two lots of four root three, which we can factorize to make eight lots of one plus root three. We want the perimeter of the triangle. So we just need three times this because it's an equilateral triangle. So the perimeter of our triangle is three lots of eight times one plus root three, which is 24 times one plus root three or as a decimal, 65.57 centimeters to two decimal places. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.